Yeah, so the last part of this course, um, I want to talk about objects, what they are, how to make them, what they're good for. Um, and we talked a little bit about objects. I know I shared that fairly complicated code of the like uh, pirate ships on the waves game. And I talked about some objects in there. I'm gonna create an object here that is um, familiar to all of you, but uh, maybe less interesting in terms of programming but it'll serve as a good illustration. So I'm gonna create a fridge and spell it class. And by this, I literally mean a refrigerator. A refrigerator. Um, oh, and I am writing comments in the wrong language. There we go, that's Python comments. So in order to create objects, we have to create a blueprint for the object. And that means defining a class. So I'm gonna say class fridge, colon, and then all the code that I indent after this is gonna to belong to this class that I'm creating named fridge. So any object that I create of type fridge is gonna know about the functions, it's gonna know about the variables that I define in this indented block of code. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to define a special function called init. And the way I'm defining this is with two underscores at the start, the word init, two underscores at the end, and then set of parentheses there. And I'm gonna put self inside the parentheses. And we can put other arguments in here that uh, will specify what sort of fridge that we wanna create. But for starters, let's just make it empty and uh, then we're gonna define what variables the fridge knows about. So any variable that belongs to the fridge, belongs to this class, we're gonna to have to use self dot to say this one belongs to self, it belongs to me, it is my variable as the fridge. So I think we should have a self dot temperature to make sure our fridge is uh, functioning well. Does anybody know what temperature fridges run at? Anybody wanna jump in and answer that? I'm not really yeah. sure. It's not, it's not freezing. It's like 40 maybe. I don't know. That might even be really cold. Um, Fahrenheit. Also Fahrenheit is a really hard word to spell. I'm not sure that's how it's spelled. Uh, I think the, R, the H goes somewhere else. <laughs> oh, well. Our fridge is 40 far hen height. Um, and what else can we know about our fridge? Let's it's gonna be a really smart fridge, right? We're writing code for this really smart fridge here. We're gonna know if the fridge is open or closed, right? It'll, it'll send an annoying uh, chime to your phone if somebody left the fridge open. We're gonna start it off false though, right? Open will be false, the fridge is initially closed. Maybe we'll also use this to like turn on the light bulb in the fridge. Okay. And then our smart fridge also has contents it has all the items that we're gonna put in the fridge. So we're gonna create a list, an empty list, and we're gonna be able to put items into our fridge. All right, we're gonna do a lot more with this, but just as an example, let's, let's start this off. So I'm gonna create a variable. It's gonna be my fridge. Uh, and what I say is equals, and then I write the name of the class, just fridge with a set of parentheses. And this is gonna create an object of type fridge and it's gonna put it in the variable named my fridge. And then I can do things like I can print out what is my fridge's uh, temperature. And I use that with the, with the name of the variable and then dot and then the variable that belongs to the class. So in this case, the temperature variable. Uh, and just for kicks, we'll also print out whether it's opened or closed. So I'll print these out and I'll run it. And we see 40 and false. So our temperature of our, I think, quite cold fridge is 40. And is the door open? False, it is not open. And we could have other fridges. We have my fridge, we could have your fridge. Equals fridge right here. And actually, so, you know, we'll do the, the really, so is your fridge running? So hopefully your fridge is running. So we'll print, uh, is your fridge running question mark? And then what we can do is print your fridge dot running. It should print true. 
And then of course, classic, I'm gonna print, uh, better go catch it. All right, is your fridge running? True, it is running. Well, you better go catch it. All right, so stupid fridge jokes here. All right, so um, I have two different fridges. I have my fridge, well, that's the name of the variable, and your fridge, different variable name. And uh, they have different, they're assigned to these two objects. We find them, or we create them the same way. The technical term is instantiate. Instantiate. Although we instantiate them in the exact same way, they're distinct, right? So if I say um, your fridge dot open equals true. So I open up your fridge and then I print out my fridges dot open, it's still gonna be false. So I run it and I get false because my fridge is not open and then false again, even though I opened your fridge, right? The open is distinct because each different open belongs to a different fridge. And that's an important distinction there. Okay, before we mess more with that, let's talk about, so what we've added is we've added these variables that belong to the fridge. And technically, variables that belong to a class are called attributes. Uh, so variables that belong to a class are called attributes. Uh, and now we're gonna add in some functions that belong to the class. And uh, these are called methods. So methods are functions that belong to a class. And I think a really obvious function to add to our fridge is uh, def like add. Like we're gonna put something into our fridge. Um, let's, let's actually like maybe put in, we're gonna put a food item into our fridge self and food. The constructor right here. So this is a thing. What is this self and why does it show up over here as well as up there and everywhere else? What's going on? Um, and then we have the food that we're going to put in, obviously. Uh, so what's going to happen here is, let me clean this up and get rid of some of this stuff. So I have my fridge and I'm going to put in my fridge uh, milk and all my food is just going to be text uh, just for simplicity. So, and, and this will work, right? If I call this, in fact, let's print out print out contents, but I haven't actually written the code that puts the food in the list yet, so nothing's going to happen. Um, but anyways, verify that error. So it prints out that end list because I haven't written the code that actually puts food in my fridge yet. Um, but this line of code ran without errors, which is a little weird because it sure looks like this takes two arguments. The self, so I've mentioned before, right? The self is referring to me, the, the fridge. Any particular fridge, this is how it refers to itself. But down here, when I call my fridge dot put in, the self is actually going to refer to my fridge right here. Um, that's uh, the self. Like I know it looks like we should have like put my fridge right here, um, but it's going to refer to this thing out front. And you know what? Let's actually try this. I'm not sure if this is going to work, but I want to see if this throws an error or not. It does. So put in is not defined. So what it's saying here is that there is no function that we know of named put in. And that's true because the only put in that exists belongs to a refrigerator object. So if we say my fridge dot put in, Python knows where to look for the put in function. It says, oh, well, we're gonna look at my fridge. What's my fridge? Well, it's a refrigerator. So we go up to the blueprint for a refrigerator and we see, aha, it has a method named put in. But the self right here, that just lets us use this like dot notation. That lets us say, whose fridge? My fridge. All right, so let's actually write the code to put the food in the contents list. Pretty simple. I'm just gonna append it, All right? This is kind of a silly example object. Um, your, you know, your smart fridge that connects to your Wi-Fi or whatever is gonna be more sophisticated than this for sure. Um, and now if I put in the milk and I print the contents, I should have a list that has milk in it, and I do. 
right there. All right, great. So we've added some attributes to our fridge class that we can uh, modify. We saw other ways of modifying this, right? We said like, uh, uh, no, actually, let's do my fridge. So my fridge dot open, we could set it to true. We open up our fridge. Maybe we need to open it up before we can put the milk in. Um, so we can reference the variables with a dot and we just set them equal to a value if we want to change them. And we've also seen adding a method, a function to the class. And again, we call that with a dot, but it is a function. So as usual with functions, we got to use a set of parentheses. And if the function takes any arguments, we got to put those arguments in between those parentheses. Um, let's see what else we can do. Uh, it seems natural to take some food out of the fridge. So I'll write that up real quick here. So take out needs self because it refers to the fridge itself. Only the fridge knows about these methods named put in and take out. And then whatever the food is that we're going to take out. And we'll just do self.contents dot remove. Let's check and make sure that that works. So I put in the milk, I print it out, and then I'm indecisive. So I just, I just take it right back out again. And let's print the contents to see what the result is. So put the milk in, took the milk out. There we go. Pretty straightforward. Maybe I want to adjust the temperature. So I could have like, decrease temperature. And uh, maybe I'll have, you know what, I won't even have the amount. So let's just put self here. This will be a no argument function just to demonstrate that. And then I'll have myself that temperature. And I will set it equal to itself minus one, we'll just put it down by one. So if I want to decrease the temperature, in, we're going to de decrease the temperature in your fridge just for no particular reason. So first I'm going to print out your fridge dot temperature just to see what the baseline is, make sure we know what it is. And then we'll decrease it. Call it in the exact same way. We don't pass in any arguments right here. The self that shows up in the code is referring to what's before the dot when we call it. So it's going to refer to your fridge. Whose temperature are we going to decrease? We're going to decrease your fridge's temperature, not my fridge. My fridge is going to have the same exact temperature as before. So we'll print out your fridge's temperature. And then actually just to verify what I just said, we will also print out my fridge's temperature. So we should have 40, 39, and then 40 because mine, mine never got changed. 39 and then 40. So this is, this is my fridge. This is your fridge there. I think there's just one more little thing that I want to show you today. And like I said at the beginning, I, my intention is to just demo some little examples of creating objects. I would love to get questions from you guys, maybe about particular objects, applications of objects, or if you want to see more Pi game stuff, give me, give me requests here. Um, because I, uh, you know, I just want to talk about objects for the rest of the year, but I'm happy to mix it up with whatever you're interested in covering. Right? Cause I want you guys to be engaged. So there are actually these special functions. And you might notice that they all start with double underscores. And uh, there's a special one called str. Well, it's called underscore, underscore, str, underscore, underscore. And um, what this one does is, actually, I forget a little bit. So I'm going to just experiment and make, make sure. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to test, see what it does. I believe I just want to return a string. Uh, and I'm going to write in, this is a fridge as my string. So str is definitely short for string. And then let me see if this does what I think it does. So I'm going to get rid of a lot of this code down here just to clean it up. In fact, we don't need your fridge anymore. Bye. So I have my fridge. It's a refrigerator. And I'm going to print out my fridge and see what happens. It prints out, this is a fridge. Hmm. Coincidence. Or is it related to this right here? Let's get rid of this for a second and print out my fridge, see what happens. Okay, that's very different. Now I have less than sign underscore underscore main underscore underscore dot fridge object at weird number with an X in it. 
and some B's and E's. So first of all, what is, what is this all about? What this is saying is when you tried to print out fridge, Python went and looked up what that variable was all about. And it found that that variable was a fridge object at memory location. And then it gives this memory location right here. And this is a hexadecimal address. Don't worry about that. Um, I can talk more about that some other time if you want. So it looked it up and it's found it was a fridge object at this memory location. That's not typically very useful for humans to read and to figure out what's going on. So if you want your object, or your whole class, any of the objects of the type that you're creating to print something particular, you can define this string method, string function. And then when you run print, it will print whatever that function returns. So it returned, this is a fridge, that's what gets printed. Perhaps you want something a little bit more complicated. Maybe I'm gonna create a variable named fridge info. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I'm just gonna call it fridge info. And what we're gonna do is put in some information about the fridge. So for example, we're gonna say, uh, fridge info uh, plus equals. We're going to add in temperature bracket plus string self dot temperature. And then we're going to add in um, contents of the fridge. And that's going to be a string as well. Self dot contents. Just going to change that to a string. Um, and we'll even put a little title on this fridge info. Let it out. Information. And then we're going to return fridge info. All right. So let's actually do something that's slightly more interesting here. We'll put something in the fridge. We're going to put. Um, Feeling dairy products today. We're gonna to put cheese in the fridge and then we're gonna print out my fridge, see what happens here. All right. Oh, I've, I needed to add some line breaks. But so fridge information, temperature, 40, contents, cheese. So it printed out all that string, all that text that I put in that I put in there. And actually, I'm just gonna real quick fix this up. So I actually have um, well, you know what? There's an easier way to do it for me. Uh, line breaks. So backslash n is a new line. We can just add that in. Now I have to add it in with the double quotes. You cannot do this with single quotes. You might notice the, the color of this. Oh, actually, maybe you can do it with single quotes. Well, I guess there's one way to find out. Oh, you can do it with single quotes. Okay. Well, that's great. We'll do it that way then. Um, and in fact, we'll just put it at the beginning of these two lines. So I'm going to have a new line for each of my, my lines of text right here. So I run it, I got fridge information, temperature 40, contents, cheese. So suppose you're creating an object and maybe it's complicated. Maybe there's a lot going on. You know, you think back to that game uh, with the pirate ships and the waves, there were a lot of complicated objects there, a lot of complicated classes. Maybe you need to know a lot more information about the, an object that you've created based on a class. Well, then you can write this string function so that when you try and print out a particular object, it'll give you lots of good information about uh, the object itself. Okay, that's all I think I wanna say today. I know this was kind of short, um, but I just wanted to go through a short example of an object. Any questions? All right. Um,